A new kind of competition made its debut in Monroe County today, all centered around a very popular food. Newswatch 16's Claire Alfrey shares how a macaroni and cheese festival is supporting local veterans. From butternut squash to lobster, these are all ingredients featured in some of the dishes competing in a mac and cheese festival. 24 restaurants throughout the Poconos competed against each other, all while raising money to support veterans in Monroe County. You know, it's a popular dish from little kids to older people, and a lot of restaurants have their own mix on it. Some make it a little spicy, some mix it with uh, special meats and different kinds of spices. Pocono Mountain Harley Davidson hosted the sold out Mac and Cheese Festival to support the veteran organization Battleborn while giving exposure to local restaurants. This exposure lets them showcase their food and you can come out, taste it, and even if it's just like a little sample, you'll be like, hmm, I like that, let's go there. It just helps a lot with word of mouth. New to Monroe County, Marine Chris Yarnell wanted to support other veterans living in the Poconos. It's spread out so far that there's just not enough resources, as what we are told, in this area to meet the needs of veterans. In August, Battleborn started the first women's veteran support group in Monroe County, something Staff Sergeant Kelsey Glennon says is crucial to help women veterans feel noticed. So a lot of women have issues accessing specific services in the VA or accessing support services. And Battleborn also tries to uplift veterans who may not be able to afford support. All of our proceeds support the veteran community and their families free of charge. All of our services are free of charge. So the proceeds from today will help us continue in the programming. The Mac and Cheese Festival raised nearly $1,000 for local veterans and Battleborn hopes that this will turn into an annual tradition. Claire Alfrey, Newswatch 16, Monroe County.